What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Frankie Vet Experiment. Today we are looking at a call to arms from Virginia's governor to ban suppressors, high capacity magazines, and assault rifles. But first I just want to say thank you to all our subscribers out there. It helps us out so much and if you're not subscribed go ahead and think about hitting that little tiny button below. It really helps our channel out. So we have all heard about the horrific events that struck Virginia Beach on May 31st, it was a Friday, where a former employee walks into the Public Works building and shoots up and kills 12 different people. We just heard that there was an active shooter and we just barricaded ourselves in offices to make sure that um, we were all safe and I called 911. We, we heard gunshots, we kept hearing gunshots and we kept hearing the cops saying, get down and there's, I don't, I don't know what would possess somebody to just come in and just start shooting at people and i'm just glad that they alerted us in enough time so we wouldn't be outside when everything was occurring so i'm happy about that but i'm still shaking because it's just entirely too much killing going on we've recovered a 45 caliber handgun with multiple extended magazines that were emptied at the time so the police chief goes on to say that there was one more pistol and a suppressor supposedly illegally obtained found at the crime scene, as well as two more firearms found at the suspect's home. First of all, I want to say that my heart goes out to all the victims and families affected by this tragedy. Nobody likes when a shooting happens. It's horrific and sad, but this is what Virginia's governor, Ralph Northman, wants to do about it. I will propose many of the same ideas that we have proposed before. Because that always works. Didn't work in the past. Let's try it again. Universal background check. Wait, hasn't he heard of the 4473, you know, the ATF's federal background check form? A ban on assault weapons to include suppressors and bump stocks. There's just way too much to unpack here. Let's get back to this later. An extreme risk protective order. Hey, we have that in Oregon too. You know, there's really nothing like another state infringing upon its citizenry's rights to, you know, your day in court or, you know, being innocent until proven guilty. Reinstating the one gun a month law. Because somebody who wants to commit a mass murder can't wait another month to get that second gun. Child access prevention. Requiring people to report lost and stolen firearms. Okay, so sure, there are no laws that specifically state you have to report a lost or stolen gun. But, if you don't do that and a crime is committed with that gun that was either lost or stolen or sold or whatever the case may be, it opens you up to be investigated for that crime. So why wouldn't you? And who wouldn't do that? Oh, right, that guy that had the gun lost or stolen or in some states sold and didn't have proof of it and didn't report it and it was used in a crime and now he's in jail for a crime he didn't commit? Yeah, that guy. That guy is the guy that didn't do that. And expanding local authority to regulate firearms, including in government buildings. I will be asking for votes and laws, not thoughts and prayers. Governor Ralph Northman, just months after his whole racial scandal, it's no surprise that he's pushing so far to the left. But we have to look at reality when we're thinking about laws, not an emotive response. He claims to want to ban assault rifles, which weren't used here at all, bump stocks, which are federally illegal, and suppressors, which are highly regulated by the NFA under the ATF. And if for those of you who don't know what the NFA is, that's the National Firearms Act, which regulates things like short belt rifles, short belt shotguns, suppressors, and fully automatic machine guns. To top things off, we already know that the suppressed weapon was heard by the intended victims, and it was supposedly bought illegally. As well, this is really the first time we've seen this kind of device used in this style of crime. But you know, it's been used once, so it's scary. Let's ban it. Once again, we see useless laws getting proposed by clueless politicians as feel-good laws, which A, either already exist, or B, are not gonna do anything anyways. Even the Virginia Beach police chief in an interview with ABC stated that he did not know if the suppressor used in this tragedy made the gunman more deadly. And as before, as the witness stated, we also know that it did not make him silent. 
you know, the left, if you guys really just want to ban guns, at least you could have the courage to come out and say it. I might not agree with it, but at least I could respect it. If you guys like this video, go ahead and don't be afraid to hit that like and share button as well. If you're curious about how to support the channel, go ahead and check out our Patreon, which is linked in the description below. As always, guys, stay smart, stay safe, stay alive.